Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt. And I'm Nigel Calder. And uh, today we're going to talk about wiring diagrams. So um, we got somebody who sent us the wiring diagram of his boat and it definitely was not really what you would expect from a good quality wiring, di wiring diagram. So he was asking for suggestions on uh, how he can actually bring it up to date. So um, what's your take on that, Nigel? Well, I see this is more your specialty than mine. I've always done my diagrams by hand, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a painful process because you, you end up with a bunch of lines mm -hmm. going all over the place and then you make a new drawing and try and tidy it up. Mm -hmm. Basically, you need to start at the batteries and you need to especially deal with all the high current circuits mm -hmm. so that you can make sure that the conductors are appropriately sized and that they have the right overcurrent protection. Yeah. I mean, those are the key reasons for doing this. But, uh, I mean, you've got some really nice software on our uh, Boat How To website, mm -hmm. uh, which so maybe, I mean, you'd like to talk about that because I've actually done very little work using software. I've done this the painful mm -hmm. hard way yeah. by hand because I'm actually a bit of a klutz when it comes to computers. It's not ideal, but uh, actually in our Boat Electrics 101 course, we recommend um, to use Easy EDA to draw wiring diagrams. And we also have a whole library where we created some of the most common uh, symbols. So uh, you can actually use that. It's online, it's free to create your wiring diagrams. And um, we actually have uh, three different uh, example wire wiring diagrams for the kind of running examples we have in our Boat Electrics 101 course, where basically you can use these as some sort of inspiration for your own wiring diagram. If you follow our course, we also kind of show you in one lesson how to use that software and how to do that. But you can also, we put a link below the video where you can actually uh, look at our library and you can use it actually even without getting our course. But we definitely recommend to check out our courses if you want to do a major system change or a update to your system. I always uh, recommend to people when I do seminars and so on, they develop a wiring diagram for their mm -hmm. boat, especially if it's an older boat that's been, the wiring's been monkeyed around. The, just the process of doing it, which is not easy, because mm -hmm. uh, much of the time, much of the wiring is hidden, will give them a better understanding of their boat electrics mm -hmm. and, than any other thing they can yeah. do. It's a really good exercise to yeah. be done. And it makes makes it really easy to troubleshoot afterwards. Huh? Yes. And if you have a problem, you usually can already pretty much find out where it is by just looking at the wiring diagram. Yep. So then the other thing, though, is that every time you make a change to the boat, be sure to modify the wiring diagram. Mm -hmm. I, I, every time I make even a small change on the boat, I go back into my wiring yeah. diagrams and, and bring them up to date. Because otherwise, it's very easy to get an out-of-date wiring diagram. Yeah. And then it, you've got to go through the whole exercise yeah. again to create it. Yeah, true. So check that out at uh, boathowto.com and uh, see you next time.